everybody, this is Steven. You could call myself the Key Seeking. And we are back to Dungo V3 Kidney Harmony. And, um. That was the one I was supposed to I did not know that. And that's my friend Talon's be dead. Even if we have, like, he has, like, no talent. Like, we have, like, no idea what his ultimate talent is exactly. So we got, like, zero clue what it is. And now, we had to do some investigation we need to deal with this kind of situation. Just like what every Danganronpa series we can do. It's like, we had to investigate and find some kind of clues or anything might be related but the murders or something. And, of course, we need to get through, like, the other alibis as well. That's... I uh, really hope like, it was like a like, weird plot was gonna happen or crazy stuff. Like, or there's like any reason why that anyone would kill Rentaro. I mean, it's not to deal with it, like a motive. I mean, the motive of what happened in the first chapter is only to deal with like, if one person get killed, then there will be no class trial saying one person can get able to leave by themselves or something like that. Which this doesn't make any sense. Like, it, not, if they wanted to get killed, they wanted to like confess to saying like I did it. I know what who killed. So like okay, it could go. So no class trials for uh, for this murder. So that's all this. But sadly, maybe there's something like anybody else that I did not even not know for something like there's some secrets that none of us did like they don't want to get involved with. So yeah, but I'm not sure how long we'll able to deal with this investigation. Just like what happened like the other uh, Dong Web series. Like normally I do like. Take a long investigation, try some, try to get everything done before the class trial is about to begin. So, yeah, no telling how long it'll last. Like, I just go, like, screw them now and they search the whole place or something. But, uh, yeah. But, anyways, that's what we did. I did a little bit of investigation and we'll just check out the crime scene and the bodies as well to see if there was any interesting enough of this. But, that's all we could find out so far. So, anyways, I think we're still in the library. Yeah, that's where we're currently in at this point onward. And of course, we got this interesting yeah, music or something. So we checked the body, so that's all we can do. So, um, moving ladder? I'm not sure what to do. It's like, can we check them out? Moving ladder, I used to reorganize the books on top of the bookshelf. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing out of the ordinary? What about the top of the bookshelf or something? Um,. I can always like you turn around for a bit. Let me talk to everybody else that need any counter for or anything find clues. Mm -hmm. Well Well of course I think I really hate it like it keep messed up and everything, so like every time I click so if you're the ultimate talent, do you got your eyes on the culprit, right? Huh? What? I'll leave it to you. Tell me you tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just a educated guess. Oh, I want to know too. Don't tell you. You're not gonna ask. Let's switch it to be just because he wants to be tell. I mean, he wants to be detective. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. But there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. Did Switchy just found out about something? Huh? <laughs> Jeez. But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? Why is he so afraid of it exactly? Who does he think he's who could kill the who killed him Tom then? That's how it looks to me. But but with that thing is the way they are. Wouldn't it be more better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> and let me just warn you. The way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. In order to fix a twisted truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. Why would we almost say something like this? Why he, why he asked you to say, like, do you know think who the culprit is? Um, maybe he was, then that could be bad bomb now. Anyway. You need to talk to anybody else with, like, any counted for or something. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of the first blood perk? Huh? What? Mm. The culprit must have killed to survive. So it's odd that they would not step forward. Mm. True. I wonder what that means. I mean, they got to be what it was. Like, if the killers want to admit, like, I did it, but so they didn't. But I get a feeling, like, did you want to find out or something? 
That's true. I can't think of several possibilities. But the worst case scenario is the corporate objective was it to survive. It was to kill everyone here. Huh? Everyone? No, seriously, thinking that'd be possible, is it? Like, if we don't know who it is, if we vote someone else who's not the killer, then we'll be screwed. That is correct. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um, but doesn't it seem like a bit of a stretch to you? Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly possible. Yeah. Well, true. Kill us all does seem like something the mastermind would do. So, we can, cannot lose this fight, even on this uncharted path. We must find a way. She really be really serious, isn't she? Don't tell by how her face looks like, so... Anyway... Eh, yeah, talk to you, Mew. Don't talk to me, crutch itch! I'm effing busy! Busy with what exactly? We aren't and say anything! You continue ignoring us while she's fiddling with the controller. Oh, is she was making something? Huh? What's that controller for? Ah. That 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 that. It's a prone. What? I don't get it. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt in into the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Oh. Okay. I don't understand why you could say prone. It's just like I don't know. Put up there is a D or something. Actually. If it was prone, a team would the rest of the. Gangelion Alliance to destroy humanity. Where, where does the reference come from exactly? Is it based on anime? Yeah, not much exactly. I had no idea what she's talking about. Yeah, I had no idea. I mean, she's making maybe weird. She said plainly. Oh, it's always what she said. Then... Wait a sec. The control is. Ha 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 ha! Now you're getting it! DJs! She left. She let Adon Shane point her finger upward. What's she doing? Huh. Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Aroma. She so means drones, but what is it exactly? It's a drone. It's a drone, not drama. I told you that's a drone. <laughs> that's what Sunogi was said. <laughs> Why? If it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. Oh god, why is Sunogi there every single time? Yeah, when did you do that? I got bored after I made those cameras you asked for, so I modified this RC pipe. Oh, I think I recognize it. Was it came from the warehouse? That I seen it. There was like a drone of it, like a helicopter thing. It kind of looks like it. I even decked it out with a camera, so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. So, what is it you're going to use it for exactly? Take a picture of the whole scene or something? From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Oh, dang me, I didn't expect this you can do that. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> that is... really something, Mew. Drafting a floor plan? With photos? That's really strange. Can she really make this? I don't know. She's, she may be the ultimate inventor. Maybe she will make something weird. I mean, how can she really do this so fast? That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way. The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking a picture with it. If you, if it's your problem with yours, then why is the point you build it in the first place? Jeez. You should be proud of that. And if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch! I can't do anything about that. So just calm your tiny tea and shut up. Oh, Sh shut up! My dress is way better than your nasty cow. <laughs> I can't even want to say this. That really based on sexuality. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, the others? Actually, you're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. Wow, that's really harsh to Mew there. What is wrong with everybody else? Okay, are they gonna do something? I mean, the drones are doing something. I'm not sure they got a plan to do anything. Oh yeah, I need to check the bookcase. To see if something changes, so... 
The main book is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. By the way, you guys have a security system on top of the bookshelf, right? Uh, okay. Y yeah, it should still be there. Let me check. Well, now that everybody knows, so like, well, the video said what it is, so. Should you climb up the ladder and look on top of the book movie bookshelf? Remember, it's still there. I should take it down now. Oh. We move it. We move fine. But once your receiver go off when you move it. No. No, it's all right. I turned the receiver off. Mm -hmm. Huh? You can not turn it off. With the red one, but I press the red button means I turn it off. Okay. Yeah, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside, and I didn't want to alert them. I see. I see. Smart thinking. Receiving a Suichi. Okay. But why I get the bad feeling of why you need to be receive it about exactly? I love it now. Can I still check the books to check? We're supposed to expose the mastermind here and put it into everything. So that's another question. Um, you got any idea me, you? Bitch. Don't talk to me, you ugly stink! Quit interrupting the vacation! Fucking moron! Ah, damn it, the shots are focused again! Your effing face is blurring the lens, B! Flopper might be useful to the investigation. But might be. But might not be finished in the first time for the class trial. I guess I won't spend too much. <laughs> I guess I'll just let her be then. Anyway, let me talk to Smoogie then. What's she been up to? I don't know who killed Rentaro, but it's Monokuma's fault it's happened. Because he pressured us. This happened. That motor he gave us is part of it. So is this strange music. What? Music? May take with the announcement? He played that music at such a high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Uh, okay. It was awful. I thought I'd go crazy. I can't believe it. I bet someone felt pressured by that and killed Rintaro. It's all Manakuma's fault. I also know that uh, the text box is slightly different. It's supposed to be like a CGS cutscene part, but not the text box it wasn't there. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happened, dear. We just have to. Promotional video BGM. What does guy do with anything? Okay, then. Uh, front bookcase? Anything that might be found? Tons of books crammed into the bookcase, and arranged in the various stacks of top. It does seem as if anything has changed since we set up the cameras. Remember, the books that that you stack up ahead hand move. Yeah. Oh, you mean the ones I stack to keep people from going through the vent? Uh, yeah, you did set them up. The stranger, why you put it there? Yeah, those have been left alone. Stack books. This might be related or something. Oh yeah, I could check the vents as well. The vents open. I was the one who took off the grate and left it in the dock. Hmm. And we're we're keeping watch in the classroom. This vent leads to. I don't think the copa came in or out through there. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Library vent. Or is that something else I need to look for or something? Hmm. Globe? Mysterious Globe? I don't think it has anything to do with the incident. Okay, but is there anything else I miss? The front door? It's a front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. We went through the store before we discovered Taro's body. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Yeah. Yeah, and we saw the movie book is closed, and then ran over. That's true. We found Mattel's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. hmm. I wonder if Mattel entered through the same door as we did. Maybe the Masterman did too. That's... When we see the picture after my cubs developed them, that will be clear. Hmm. 
guess all we can do is wait. We'll just uh, wait and find out then. There's a... A rear sliding door. This is a rear door. It's further door from the stairs and leads to a hallway. Uh. By the way, this is a sliding door. See? It opens when you slide it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. Do you think we tell enter to this door? Uh, um. I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Malacups. Mm. Yeah, right. We'll just have to wait. Gee, do I have to be some rushing in or something? Is that all of it? I mean, that's all we can find, right? Let me just... Feels like something missing. Should I get a little more? Okay, what am I missing? Check the bodies. No much for this body. Hmm. Can you talk to Sweet then? Um... Hey, Kanye, do you remember what we saw when we came in here? Yeah. Yeah, I remembered. What? What's about? We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Hmm. No one ever even touched it. So how did that happen? Okay, now the text box is back here. So I get the feeling it might be a bug or something like this. They, I think they forgot to like put it back, so that's really strange. So hmm. actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Should we move the bookcase to reveal the hidden door? Now you find decide to do it. Is that all right? Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase, he let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, wow. Uh, oh, it closed on its own. So it doesn't hold too much, right? You sound like you had to bring one person just hold the door that much. But that might be the case, right? If, if a mastermind comes in, open the door automatically and hold it as fast again and can't get inside of it, and they get inside and close by itself. I think that's what works. I think. And what's strange? Why is it like leave the door? I can't leave the door open widely. It is strange enough it is, but I mean, maybe because of the weight of the bookshelves or something? Hmm. The books are set up like an automatic door. It closed after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. If it didn't close on its own, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside. I see. I see. The bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Are you saying that like you had to, you can only go inside but you can't get out? I don't know about that. I love it out there. But wait. The bookcase closed itself after you enter the hidden door. Uh. Oh! Maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past the hidden door. You're right. After killing Raton, they hit they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible. Like, make it timing fast as possible. Let's check that out. Huh? Huh? How do we check it? Remember. The dust on the card reader, remember? Shrinji moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Did he use it something? I'm going to check out the card reader. Then... Alright, let's see. We're leaning in to get a close look at the gap at the card reader. Huh? Huh? The dust is still there. You're right. It looks like the card reader was in use. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Then what was the point about the using the book when the door of the bookcase just was opened up then? Hmm. What did the mastermind replace the dust after they used the card reader? But they wouldn't even recognize it. No. No, I remember exactly when I put the dust. This hadn't been moved at all. I just noticed that there's like a little bit of white that lines over that. Is that like this all the time? Maybe it's just buggy issues. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the mastermind did not go through this door. Um. Then, the one who moved the moving bootcase at the time was... Rental himself? No. I can't say for sure. We'll know more when we get to the picture back. There's a chance that someone else has was hiding here. 
Uh, I'm not sure about that. I see. Well, I think the corp... I think the corp... Mastermind is the corporate. So we just need to find the clues that can't connect us to the mastermind. We'll end the killing game that way too. Um, Kaede, I think we investigate the entire library now. I guess that's all it is. So what next? Um, we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. You're right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Once we get those. But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep us getting what we can. Mm. Keep investigating. That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Matara was killed. I see. If that's the case, then who should we question? Maybe the few people mm -hmm. that went down there. The six people that went down to basement went with travel. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Andy, and Himiko. I talked to them first. Maybe I just like no. They should have been in the game room, along with Wintaro. Let let us them about what happened there. Yeah. Okay, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. And I'm curious to know though, what what's going on here. Kaito kind of did say something like. We would do some kind of strategies when the time limit occurs. So, I hope they were inside the game room, so something like that. I'm not sure if they're still inside the game room, so we'll just find out insane. Well, it's Maki. Maki's the only one then. I can still smack that. Hmm. So, Maki's the only one here then? You were in the game room when Matara was killed, right? Hey! What were you all doing down here? Matara was with you, right? Mm -hmm. Am I sus a suspect? Oh god, I don't like the way that this goes. Uh. Oh, no! That's not what I meant! Hmm. You should suspect me. Ifan, you should be suspicious of everyone. Huh? Huh? Because... Someone got killed right after we all got here. The timing is too perfect. Then again, with the time limit so close to expiring, maybe that's why it happened. Gee, why is this not maybe serious for Maki? You don't know. So trust no one, Kaede. Or you'll lose, got it? I can't get a read on Maki at all. She just saw a dead body, yet she's perfectly calm. It's hard to imagine her as the ultimate child caregiver. Yeah, very strange. Maybe she's not very serious. But, but why were you all he here in, in the first place? It was Kaito's idea. He suddenly went to hold a strategy meeting and gather us together. He said we should confront Malakuma once and the time limit expired. I don't understand. And he picked the seven people he thought would be useful in the fight. He picked? Not even like as if he wanted to join me? Seven people. Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Enji, and Rantaro. But, um, I'm not sure those seven would all be useful in the fight, though. Yeah, that really get insta kill. I see. Kaito Don, Himiko's magic, and Angie's connection to Atua would be useful. Really? You, do you seriously believe that Kaito think is like, very really useful when Himiko's magic, even though the star magic's not revealed? It's all like magic tricks. And Angie, Angie is stopped by being religious, or by any praying to Atua, then it's. Let's make any sense. Huh? But what about you, Maki? Why did you also pick the ultimate child caregiver? Yeah, what? Well, it doesn't make any sense why he chose you then. This is stupid. He just looked at me and said, Yeah, you probably know how to fight. That's it? Jeez. That does sound like something Kaito would do, though. Is that the only reason why Kaito would think would pick Maki there? I don't know think she's not suitable for any fighting. Although, the way how she acting like this, she sounds very serious. But why have a strategy meeting in the game room in the basement? I don't know. Beats me. Maybe Kaito figured it would be harder for Manakuma to find us here. In other words, it was just a coincidence? Uh, um... And what was Ventone doing at the time? Was he in a strategy meeting with you? That's true. He was... at 
first. But he excused himself to go to the bathroom and left on his own. Okay. So he just left. But well, it actually went to went to the library, was it? <sighs> Kaito and Tenko went looking for him so we could finish the meeting before the time expired. That must have happened around... Yeah, when... When Kaito saw us, though. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Well, never mind. The time is perfect. We should join our strategy meeting. Kaito is definitely welcome to join. Then, did the four of you just wait in the game mode the whole time? No. Nope. Angie, Himiko, and I were the only ones who stayed behind. Gonda never joined us. What? What do you mean? Did Gonda left? Huh? Huh? Gonda wasn't with you guys? <sighs> Gonda did arrive, but then he left and locked himself in the AV room in the back. He locked himself in the AV room? Why? Hmm. He was in the AV room by himself? Suspicious behavior, isn't it? The other two felt the same way. Um, what other two? My guide, no. Why don't you go to the AV room? They're probably still there. Maki's account. Okay. Um, give us your source for that. Shuichi. Hey, Shuichi. The AV room is that room in the back, right? Could it be? Kinda. Have you never been there before? I never went inside and looked at it. Nope, not yet. Anyway, let's go. I bet there's something interesting. I'm not sure if Gontan was still in the AV room. Oh god, is this what it looks like? Wait! Wait! Gontan not murder anyone! Why are you so fickle? We're not actually ending. Come on, man. I told you, we're not saying you did. We just want to talk. No. No, it's him, alright. He got the face of a killer. Why, wow, Himiko, you sound very mean. What? Something like that. No way! N no judge Gonta by his outside! On inside, gentlemen, Gonta gentlemen! Hey! Hey, what's going on here? Ah. Oh, hey there, Kaede. We're just trying to ask him. Yeah, just tell us while we're just a still asking nicely. Are you, are you not the culprit? Yeah. Oh, are you not, not the culprit? Are you not, not, not the culprit? Oh god, Himiko, yeah, I like literally losing my mind there. Conta, not, not, uh, just bend this over and over. We can't move forward at all. Um, I think your question has a problem. Hmm. Then I'll change the question. Timmy buys five strawberries for 50 cents each and one apple. Wait, you really want to answer that question like that? I told you I'm talking, Himiko! Do your own math homework! You know? Hey Gonta, I told the monkey earlier. You were in the basement AV room alone the whole time, right? Mm. But, what were you doing here alone? Um... Gonta happy to be invited to meeting. But Gonta think he not be much help. Cause he's not smart. Really? You're not really that stupid, are you? Bugs are. So Gonta in here alone? Watch a bug movie! You're watching some bug movie. That's all you've been doing? Huh? Um, what? How does that help? Honest. Bug movie, Phil Gonta will fight. Make Gonta ready to fight Monokuma. Like, how does it work? Like, like survival of the fittest or something? I see. So it helps you fight. Okay, sure. You do you, Gonta. But you know. But why was it locked? Huh? What was locked? My if you don't answer honestly, I'll change you into a girl with my magic. Can you really seriously do that? Huh? huh? Gonta no can become girl, Gonta! The Gonta never become gentleman! You can be, like, gentlewoman. Jeez. Himiko, can you just shut up for a second? You're making this harder than it needs to be. Is that alright? Gonta, can you tell us what happened next? Gonta... Gonta... Just need focus. If Gonta knows focus, Gonta no can fill up with fight. Honest. That's it! Really! Gonta just wanna protect everyone! <sighs> but you guys not gonna believe Gonta, huh? Cause Gonta's so big and scary looking, huh? Oh god, I don't like it when you make this mad face. Just like when there's like a tough muscle characters from the first two. Whoa! 
calm down! You're making a really scary face! <laughs> oh my god, kind of. What's, what's with your face like that? It's like a freak out face of yours. How can this be? Cause, Gonta feels so useless! Hmm, after hearing this story, I can see why people would suspect him. But, I wonder what really happened. Could he actually be the mastermind? That's true. Kaide, let's investigate this room a little more. We also need to verify Gonta's alibi. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then. Can we just ask him more, then? Gonta, Gonta watched a book movie to fill Gonta with fight. So Gonta can fight Monokuma. But Gonta needs focus to fill up with fight. So Gonta locked door. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a lie. If you don't tell the truth, I'll blow your clothes off with magic. Like what exactly? Fire explosion? Huh? Eh? If Gonta naked in public, then Gonta never become gentleman! Does that make you feel embarrassed? What is up with that? Why should Himiko was acting like this something and trying to make something very embarrassing things? Oh, jeez. Himiko, shut up! Stop saying ridiculous things! Honest. Gonta just want to protect everyone, really! Why? Why? No one believed Gonta! Gonta feels so pathetic! I don't know what Himiko was acting so very, so very mean all this, so. The cop is definitely Gonta. He's suspicious, no matter how you look at it. No. No, it's still too early to determine that. There are a, little, a lot of things to consider. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Really? You mean so, it definitely Gonta. He's suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Mm. Um, no, wait. Um, no. Why don't you help investigate before you decide that, Himiko? What a pain. Investigation is pain. Don't that suspicious, no matter how you look at it. Got it? Like I said, you need to investigate before you decide that. Heck, use your magic for all I care. It's impossible. Magic shouldn't be used like that. It leads to corruptions. <laughs> corruptions like that? I highly doubt as much. Like anyone that knows who get corrupted. Jeez. The Sabi's and Lazy put some extra effort into solving this. So helpful, Himiko. Yeah, what that been up to Kaito? Jeez, I can't believe that happened right next to the door to our strategy meeting. Hey, Kaito, can you tell me more about this strategy meeting of yours? You can't even want to meet in the basement, right? Oh. What? Am I on one of your suspects now? Well, we want to know. No, um, that's not what I. Nah, it's natural that you're suspicious of me. Of course. I'm not the culprit. I swear on the universe. Some, some okay, <laughs> but I promise you, you're not okay, Kaito. Got it. I got nothing to hide. So you can ask me anything. Leave, you just leave it wide open like that. Really interesting thought, though. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then. Well, now that we have a chance, let's look back at the entire incident together. Kaito went to the sea with us, so he might have noticed something we missed. Got it. All right then. Where should we start? Hmm. After Kayane and I set up the cameras, we were keeping watch in the classroom. Some time passed, and then we saw you guys go down to the basement. Hey, when did you start asking people to go with you? So... I don't know if it was that time, but I asked them one by one, and we all went to there together. Okay. And that's when we saw you. You, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, and Jihiko, and Mentaro. You know... Now nah, think about it. The monitor started going off just before that. That creepy music made it hard to keep the strategy being going. Uh, the, the promotional video announcement. Um, I want to confirm what you told me so far. Everyone went to the game room for this meeting, and no one went to the library, right? Yeah, we went straight to the game room. But right after we went inside, Gonta went to the AV room and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Yeah, Maki told me about that. So... After that, during the meeting, Rantara le left to go to the bathroom. But we thought it would be bad if the meeting stopped. So me and Tenko went to get him back. And that's when we meet up with you guys. Okay. 
We had gone down to the basement because the security sensor receiver went off. Yeah. And right when I was about to open the library door, you guys called out to us. So after you and Tinko left the game room, Himiko and Maki were still there, right? Got it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. But you know, However, I can't guarantee that Gonta was in there the whole time. I see. I see. So we can't confirm Gonta's alibi yet. Hey. The library's rear entrance is at the end of the hallway, correct? Do you see anyone there? That's right. Well, I don't get. Well, I didn't get a look, good look. But I'm sure I wouldn't notice if someone was there. Jeez. Then I opened the door to the library with you guys and found my tallest bo dead body. That's just about how it went. Hmm. hmm. We didn't learn any new information, though. Come on, man. So I'm not clear uh, suspicious yet, huh? No. Uh, don't worry. You're not likely suspect. Dumbass. Hey! That's not something that you should say! Enough. If you suspect me, you better pursue it to the end. If this can tell you satisfied. If you don't do that, you never reach the truth. Retard will have died for no reason. This is where you need to let your ultimate talent shine. Dang, I can't kind of feel it's like trying to motivate Suichi or something. Suichi? Yeah. Anyway, if you notice something or remember anything, let us know. Of course. Well, I'm not planning on leaving on all on to you guys. I'll just get my own way. Like how you did exactly? How he does much? Um, there's a black side door. This door is difficult than the one we use to enter the game room. Um, is this connected to the hallway? Yeah, it does. Is there any something particular? You're right. It seems that way. Let's check. Yeah. Side door. Open it. I try to open it, but. Kachunk? Is it. Is something broke or was it locked? Huh? I mean, it's lying, though. It doesn't like lock. Huh? That's weird. It doesn't open all the way. Um. Looks like it wasn't installed, right? I can only stick my arm through. Wait, the door wasn't. Oh god, don't tell me. Is it because the the door frame doesn't fit in exactly? <laughs> Why does it sound like really familiar? Hmm. I can see the hallway on the other side, but I suppose it's not possible to use this door. No. No, no. If it's gone there, it doesn't matter if the door was stuck. He's strong enough to throw that super heavy manhole cover. What you seriously think he just like pull the sliding door harder? That's right. Yeah, you could eat this door for breakfast. What? Is that really necessary? Go to never do that. Go to not eat door for breakfast. Breakfast must point me of any gentleman does. What do you do exactly? Eat healthy, nutritious. Okay. I agree. Huh? Huh? You think Gota could eat the doors? No. Ah, uh, no, not that. I mean, I don't think he did anything like that. Look at this. Is that all right? There's a dust piled up on the railing on the door. The slide door hadn't moved in in a while. So... In other words, the slide door is no golden? Mm. So then... It just forces its way through the gap? Mm. That's... Not possible. There's maybe enough space for the baseball to fit through. <laughs> Unlike something that I know of. I guess the lion could fit through it as well. If it were thin enough. So then, he probably used magic that makes you slim and keeps that fat off. That sounds like it make you suspicious of yours, Himiko. Wait! Koto no can use magic! Yeah, he can't do that. Okay! Oh, I can use magic! These two never have anything important to say. What's the matter? What's the matter, Richie? No. Nothing. Just something I want to confirm. I'm going to try the sliding door one more time. As Shuichi peeked through the gap of the sliding door, he muttered, I knew it. I thought so. Look, you can see the rear entrance to the library from here. This door and the rear entrance are located straight across from one another. Um, hmm. So what? That's. I'm not sure if it's matter yet, but it's a little concerning. 
concerning how? So, what? Are you saying something might be interesting? Hmm. I think we're risking everything here. Mm -hmm. Then, we should... What should we do next? Hey. For now, let's ask the others some questions. There's still people we hadn't talked to. Aww. This would be done if we had the pictures. We wouldn't have to waste our time like this. We only know who the mastermind is. Hmm. That's true. But we shouldn't wait around and do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, so... Where to go next, exactly? I mean, I could have, like, pulled up the map, like... It can, like... Indicate, like, where to go or something. Something like that. Or right. Let me check. Because I'm not sure they're gonna give us, like, kind of, like, an icon, like, indicate, like... Where to go next or something. Like, anything we could find. Oh, Tanko! You weren't there when I came out of the basement. Uh, and of course, there's NG as well. But you weren't there last time. Uh, oh, Tanko! I want to ask you something. We asked Tanko about what happened in the game room. But she only confirmed what Maki had told us. It didn't provide any new information. Mm -hmm. I see. That's right! I knew it! Gordon would be the most suspicious since he'd lock himself in the AV room. Not to mention he also a man. Hmm. Um, are you submitting that as evidence? Hey. By the way, how was your investigation been going? No. I haven't done any investigated. What have you been doing exactly? Huh? What? Degenerate man. Hey, degenerate! Don't give me that face. I've been doing something else. I've been watching Indy. Huh? Watching Indy? For one. We agreed to risk with one other person, right? But Angie just been wandering around alone. I see. Oh, that's why you're with Angie? Um. I don't want to suspect anyone either. But girl's lives are at stake here. Okay. For investigation like this to work, we had to trust each other. What's with the face? I'm not sure why. Why is Tango's the only one? Like she doesn't like any guys at all. I don't imagine if any guys would eat, like. Asking her a day, it was like, No way, you degenerate male! And then slammed down or something. Ooh, she does not look happy right now. Ugh, degenerate male! Don't high and money with me, you two faced degenerate! No. S sorry, that wasn't my intention. Well, so much for a tank on, by the way, so let's talk to Angie then. Hey. You're not gonna investigate Angie? I. Investigate it, important. What I gotta say, my players to Atua too. Amen. Oh, Atua, please let Natala into heaven safe and sound. Hey. I suppose a prayer couldn't hurt. Hmm. Natala dying in such a gruesome way. Would he be able to go to heaven in peace? It'd be nice if he could. It'll be okay. Don't worry. I play hard. If I play hard enough, I earn enough points to become a platinum disciple. That's like a credit card, but I didn't mean to do it. I actually just hold it. That's too bad. Um, this only opens crack. Fire the library's near entrance. The door is connected to the AV room. Uh, I thought for sure we could check on some of some changes, so just one check. I still haven't talked to some people yet. I have to go find them. Is there anyone around here? I guess we have to go up here then. I'm pretty sure I get to be on the mini to ask someone else who wasn't counted for. But who exactly? I'm not gonna be hiding. Let's check the classroom. Is there anything up to me to do it? See when you find something have find a clue. Oh, and there's keyboard and key. Oh Kaide, Switchy! I would like to ask you two a question. You want to look on inside this classroom, right? I want you to know about that. Yeah. Yeah, from here, we can keep an eye on the basement. They must close the library, too. You're right. That's our alibi. We were both in this classroom when the murder occurred. I see. I see. 
then the probability that you two committed the crime is extremely low. By the way, were you two together the entire time? No. No, I did leave for a bit to see what was happening in the basement. But beside that, we were together the whole time until the receiver went off. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you very much. I understand. Thank you very much. Look at classroom. Hey. It's not a cable that's suspecting us, on not he? Is that all you want to ask? Um. Oh, may I ask you one more question? Specifically about the vent. What about the vent? By the way, it appears to be connected to this classroom. You mean the vent that we just did? The air dock in the basement hallway lead to it. That's. Yes, I was also concerned about this vent. That's why we kept Watts in this classroom. That's right. Because the culprit wouldn't be able to use this vent if we we're in here on lookout. That's right. Under those circumstances, it would be difficult to sneak into the library from here. Plus, can anyone even fit even that small vent? Okay. Kind of stack up books in front of the library vent as well. With those in the way, it would be even harder for someone to go in and out. I'll commit that to my memory bank. Really? I'll be sure to say the important piece of information to my memory bank. Your memory bank? What would happen if your memory bank got maximum? You would enter like another one? <laughs> I highly doubt as much. The classroom bent. Thank you very much. I hope my line of questioning has not offended either of you. It is necessary so that we may find the truth. Mm. Kiba, you totally sound like a detective or a lawyer just now. Uh. Oh, maybe you were a detective or a lawyer in the past life. You before it became this? That's what you're thinking? <laughs> a past life? How could I have a past life when I'm not made of human components? I have no idea any any background check about you, Kibo. Strange you call yourself the ultimate robot, so... What about you, Kyo? What are you been not to do? <laughs> Let me guess. He wished to hear my alibi, yes. Huh? Huh? How do you know? My appearance in action does far suggest I am someone who would commit a murder. At least he's self-aware. So, to briefly, to briefly state the truth, when the body discovered has been played, I was in the dining hall eating supper. Oh, yes. The other people there with me were Miyu, Kiyumi, and Sumugi. The monocles prepared that meal for me. It was this on the menu as pasta that tastes like a lonely lady, old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake, or some such. What kind of name of that? Menu was exactly. So what? Are you saying just like a plain old pasta? Is that what it is? <laughs> I have no idea. That pasta sounds depressing. Do you understand? That could cause my alibi. If I do, hope it can be of some help. Hold on. You say you have a supper. How can you eat when you have your mask on, on your face? Although I know there's a zipper on the mouth, like. Does any- I don't know- is that- How are you able to do something like this? How are you able to do something like that, Kyo? Even if you have your mask on! That doesn't make any sense! <laughs> it makes no sense, like, you say you have a supper... But I didn't say- I'd be curious to know that you can like, if you- You should take out your mask like that, is that how this stuff goes? I have, like, no idea. <laughs> I'm not one questioning myself already. Hey! And what about the people around you? Did you notice anything in particular? Ah, if there was something to note, it would be that Mia was tinkering with something or other. I think it's something to do with the drone, was it? There was also a brief period of time where Sumugi left to use the restroom. Mm. The restroom, huh? Interesting. Well, Sukumi. Sumugi is the ultimate cosplayer. You know, suggest Sumugi is suspicious, thinking she could disguise herself. She couldn't go into the bathroom to secretly disguise herself as someone else. Can she? I mean, she's the like ultimate cosplayers. I mean, she must be trying out their fictional characters, wasn't it? Uh, someone uh, else? But who? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'll go talk to her. She should be at the crime scene in the library. So, we're to go back then? 
Back to the library then. I can't leave yet. Is there something I need to check? What? To check the... the door? I also thought what they were doing during the... body discovery announcement. Okay. I guess I have to talk to Keeble then. I'm not sure. We, we, got it. we need it. Hey Keeble! What were you doing when you doing the body discovery announcement? Hmm. Ah! My alibi. Uh, what's going on here? Why, why is this all like electricity all around him? Oh my god, let's just get on right faster. Huh? Um, are you glitching right now? I don't know, because just right now, his eyes is already like static. Well, no, I'm searching for the right words. In all honesty, I was alone in my room, so I admit my alibi is not altogether reliable. So, you don't have an alibi? But we almost said he was alone in this room, too. Jeez, why did you throw him under the bus? What? Huh? Th that was not my intention! I see. Both Kibo and Ryoma don't have an alibi. That means it's possible one of those two is the mastermind. Um. Um. Am I just suspicious because I don't have an alibi? I mean, they could have just, like, Left. I mean, anyone else could have saw what they're doing, can they? No. No, I won't suspect you just because you don't have an alibi. Of course. And I'm not saying that because you're a robot or anything. I'm not robophobic at all. <laughs> at least you didn't. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But you don't need to be so PC. Like a peer? Okay, I got Kiba's account. So we can count everyone, except there's few one more person, it's Kokichi. I'm not sure where Kokichi was exactly around that time, so I don't know where he is, so put aside the thing about Tsumugi, now I know everyone's alibi. Huh? Huh? What about Kokichi? Yeah, I was asking, what about Kokichi? No. We don't need to ask him. He was definitely alone. Really? Wow. That was harsh. Everyone we talked to hadn't seen him, so... No one would cooperate his alibi, right? That means he must have been alone. I see. Oh, you're right. I guess that's why you're a detective, and I'm not. I don't get this. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense for you, Kayede. Anyway, we had to go back to the library to go talk to Sumugi. Like, what was she doing around in time? Or if she was in disguise, so. Time to go back to the basement. No, there's Sumugi there. Um. Hey, hey, Smoky. I need to ask you something. Uh, um. She looks like she's busy thinking about something. She won't talk to me. <laughs> that was like it's some excuse, just like what happened last time. Okay, but that's no excuse to give up. I grabbed the hem of Smoky's skirt and began to lift it slowly. Really? What is wrong with you? Even though you're a girl and all. Got it. I don't leave your skirt, Smoky. You okay with that? Uh. Wait, Kaede. You better talk, or I'm gonna lift your skirt for Suiji to see. And then I'm gonna tie your skirt around your head so everyone can see your panties. Wow, that's kinda of really mean though. I understand. I understand. I just need to talk, right? Oh god, that sounds really like <laughs> trying to black money Samogi there. Mm -hmm. Oh! Took you long enough. Oh. Well, I can't let Suiji's innocent eyes get dirty. That's wrong. No! Uh, they won't get dirty! <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Shuichi. Are you saying you're seeing dirty here, Shuichi? What's wrong? What do you want to talk about? You know? I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Since you're the co ultimate cosplayer, that means you could disguise yourself as anyone. Even one of us, right? Uh... Oh, so that's what you think of me. Well, since we're in this situation, I'll be clear. That's impossible! I only cosplay fictional characters! I don't cosplay real people! Or rather, I can't! Um, okay. Um, you can't? Is it easy to just wear someone else's clothes as a disguise and. You can't! Cosplay isn't a disguise! Huh? Uh, sorry! I guess. Well, you probably have a hard time believing me if I just say it. So I'll show you! Wh what? You're just gonna show me w uh, what's. what it is exactly? Show me how! Come, here. Come on, Kayede! Uh, 
I heard it say, I heard like one, like, based on saying, come here! Stop like that. Ah, wait! Did she just drag the way or something? Smoogie, grab my hand and drag me to the girls' bathroom on the first floor. Oh, do it privately? We're not gonna do something weird, isn't it? Um, are you gonna punch me or tie me up? Hey now. Hey now, there's no way I'll be do the thing like that. Hey. Now hurry up and take your clothes off. Um, really? Is that necessary? Huh? What? Why? Uh... Well, because I'm going to cosplay as you, of course. Now give me your clothes. Huh? Huh? But... Right? Come on, come on, hurry up! She's already demanding, isn't it? Huh? What? It... I slowly undress and hand my clothes to Samugi. Is she... I'm not sure it will be necessary to see what I'm about to see. After telling me to look the other way, I waited while she changed my clothes. Yeah. Okay. Now you can look. Okay. Holy Jesus! I'm smoking. Why are you? Why are you all pink? I'm not guys. Now it's almost very naked for Kanye Day. But what is up with this? A gross bumpy rash has spread across the monkey's body! What was that all about exactly? Why? What is it all about? Hi. I'm <laughs> oh my gosh, she's not like a demon or something. This isn't cosplay of the spiky headed underling of a certain space emperor. This is Cosplox, an allergic reaction that happens when I dress up as real people. Coxpox? Is it really a, a real thing? I'm not sure it, it might be an unnecessary what it was, or if it was real as this kid called a cost box. <laughs> I only doubt as much it's like it's impossible you think this is all real. This is the price for my power. The equivalent exchange for my cosplay. Uh, okay, I get it. Change out of my clothes already. It's, it makes no sense why she's all completely pinkish. Exchange your clothes and then return to the library when Shuichi was waiting. Well, I have done unseen things that was unexpected. <laughs> and Kaede was crying! Uh, she never be like, never let that happen again, or she won't get unseen ever again. What happened? Kaede, what's wrong? Uh, Smoogie couldn't have disguised herself. Yeah. You understand, since you saw the cox box, right? Cosplay is love. You're right. You put your bright life into characters. It's almost like you're summoning them. From fiction and fiction to the real world. Like an oracle telling the gods. Um. That's why I can cosplay various characters from across the line world uh, fiction. But it's possible to cosplay as someone who exists in the real world. Really? Like us? You know, say you're like wearing someone else's, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can you wear it like normally? Right? Because that's not cosplay. It just impersonates someone. Uh, I really don't need that long explanation. Is that time already? That went fast. Uh huh? Huh? This chime? Is it time already? But when it. You bastards! Oh. Okay. It's time, you be! Time for the long way class trial! Wait, right now? And what type of model kid? Why is he like he's about to have a diarrhea? His face got really colorful! What's going on here? It's not that. No, it's not! Which is nothing that the photos are ready! Don't interrupt me! Oh, the photos. I forgot about that. Anyway, I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Uh, hey! Does my face look weird to you? Does my face always look this weird? So long, farewell. No, it's just you, my little kid. I don't know. Did you eat, drink a lot of honeys again? Because I get the feeling you might be dead. Did you hear that, Sweetie? The picture have a funny fit been developed. Let's go! Come on, get a move on! Oh. Uh, wait, Kaede! Okay, we're just like rushing to the warehouse then. Where she, what Mother Fanny was just saying. I ran as fast as I could to the school warehouse. 
I couldn't stay put. Knowing that the truth was so close at hand. Or well, use that as evidence or something. Who knows? Well, we're out of the warehouse. All we gotta do is. Wait. I went in full sprint to the warehouse. Wait! Uh, wait, Kayede! You shouldn't get so worked up! I can't help it! We're so close to learning the truth! We cannot find out who the mastermind is! Sign. Yep, here they are! Oh! You came! We're intruding! Sure did! I came to see you, Tuts! <laughs> You're as lovely as always! Oh, Manosuke! You're such a flirt! Uh, may I join you for a drink? Well, I. I just, if Manosuke is hitting the amount of any, drink as much as you want! I got cash to burn. How much money do you have in possession? But I know that's all Manakuma dollars. Well, Manakuma yen. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Can we get a bottle here? We're not in the bar, Mano Fanny. <laughs> this is great. Oh, hey, how long are you gonna guys gonna do this for? Take this. Oh god, why is he beat up there? It's all the photos. They're separated in, the in envelopes for each camera. At least it didn't like all mixed up or something. Use them. Take that. Take that B down. It's all a T. You now. Dead. <laughs> Dead. Dumbass. I'm so rich, what are the journalists gonna do about it? Nothing, that's what. By the way, Mama Fanny, when I get out of here after your shift dance? <laughs> I want a fancy steak dinner. <laughs> What's your name and age? Home district, salary, do you have another job? Uh, what the heck is going on? What is up with his nose? Do you have a balloon on his nose or something? I don't know, it's my own cops. They all say something really stupid and random. Uh, um. Anyway, it looks like we have the pictures now. Yeah. Yeah. Finally. Oh, jeez, everyone's all gathered up. Um. Kaede, are those the different photos? Right? The copper should be in those photos, right? Nyeehehe. <laughs> 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 exciting. I want to see the dumb look on the copper's face. All right, let's take a look. Um, let's, let's look at the photo taken by the camera near the front entrance first. The envelope set that says front entrance has a total of four pictures. Four? That's a lot of pictures there. Let's see the first picture. What's it going to show us then? Uh, this is... We arrived at the library, so I took a picture then. That was around the time... When the bookcase was moved, then. Ah. Yeah, this was right before we found Mentano's body. <laughs> That's a pretty bad picture of me. But don't focus on it too much, okay? But of course. Rest assured, we do not care. Wow, that's harsh. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the next one. Um, this is. Is this the photo after the Rentalos murder? Is this it's a picture of us running into the library after we heard Tenko scream. That doesn't help us at all. Hurry up and show us the next picture. Okay then. Yeah. Okay. This is everyone else who came to the library after the body discovery announcement. It's not everyone, but... No mental in this part. Yeah. Everyone pictured here, myself and Clue, was on our way to the basement. So we got there a bit late. You know. Hey! These are all the pictures of when we found the body! Hmm. There's one more photo of the front entrance, correct? Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at that one. Huh? Huh? Suji? <laughs> Oh my god, are you serious? You didn't take a picture of that much when you took down the cam camera. Oh. Uh, sorry, 
Unless I tripped one of the sensors when I was removing the cameras. What were you saying? Um, this picture doesn't seem to have any clue that will help us either. So that's out of the picture then. <laughs> Get that. The camera point at the front entrance only snapped these four pictures. Okay. The three photos might be helpful, except one that so we just trying to remove it. Neither Rental nor anyone else who would be the culprit are in the photos. Did they both enter through the back door then? Alexander falls taken by the cameras near the re entrance then. Yeah. Hmm. Only two photos were taken by the camera point at the re entrance. I get a feeling that the last part is gonna be like when Suichi was removed the camera. Um, let's see the first picture. Uh. Rataru! Wow. Oh. So he went he used the back door, but he never used the entrance then. That's pretty mysteriously. I knew it. So Matong went in through the rear entrance. Perhaps so no one would see him? I thought it might be possible that he was moved to the library after being murdered. Well, if he moved the body, the blood will happen have like a streak of blood on it. But that does not appear to be the case. If so. so that means he was killed in the library after going there on his own will. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Maybe we'll show the mastermind. But don't think not. Huh? Huh? Sorry. Sorry, me again. This is for me when I was removing the camera. There's only one photo in this rear entrance, and this is what we get. Yeah. yeah. What attention, hog? No. Yeah, no choice. To move the cameras, he had to be close to the center. Why can't you just like turn out the receiver or something? Um, That's all for the rear entrance. Just these two photos. It's only one photo that we found out, so... Man, when they level up, darn you... Something tells me for more time to investigate, we get leveled up that fast. Huh? Corpus not in the rear entrance photo either? What does this mean? No, no, I either the front or rear entrance pictures. Which then leaves the last one. Yeah, that's pretty odd. Why isn't there a picture of the mastermind entering? Hey, hey, sweetie, don't you think that's weird? Uh, um. Let's look at the picture from the hidden door camera. That might tell us something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The camera should capture in the moment the master might open the door. Or someone else's, if that might be the case. I hope that was the case I was to remove the photos from the envelope. There were two photos. The first one was... And that would be... Uh, oh! Rentaro? What? So he found out about there's a hidden room there? How does he know about that part? But if Renton wasn't the one who moved the bookcase, then he he must have known about the hidden door. Could it be? Could the culprit have gone into the hidden door? Then how did Renton know about the bookcase then? I see. Yes, that is a possibility. Do you understand? For now, let us see the next picture. There's one remaining, isn't there? I hope that Sir AJ wasn't like. Get involved or something. Although the sensor was on top of the bookshelf, so maybe something there for like if the bookshelf was moved, it'll take pictures, right? It? Yeah. yeah, here it is. Huh? What? Um, uh, why is Rintel so close to the. Did he find out about the camera? What? Why did I get a feeling like did he find out about something? Like, did he notice something that like, wait, there's a camera there. What's it doing here? But I have a bad feeling about this. Huh? What's the town doing? Yeah. It looks like he's reaching for the camera. Maybe he was trying to remove it. Oh. Ah, I didn't notice something while I was removing the camera. The security sensor for this camera was switched off. If so. If that's the case. This photo was likely taken just before the sensor was turned off. That would mean that Mattel noticed it. He saw our hidden camera. 
By the way, movie day bookcase triggers a sensor, which in turn it fits the camera, right? The bookcase appears to have already been moved. So why did the sensor activate? I don't get Who it. cares? What happened to the culprit? How come they're not in any of the photos? The list, this last photo must have been taken shortly before Mentara was killed. If so, then the culprit sh could should be pictured right behind him in this photo. If that might be the case. If the bookshelf was moved, then by the time Rantan was distracting that they saw the camera, then he just killed him from behind him? I don't know. I don't like the sound of it. Then why is the culprit nowhere to be seen? So we have zero ideas then. So, we're screwed up then. Uh, Hindor photos. That's the only thing we can have. Oh, jeez, they got a lot of experience there. That's all the photos. So, we gained no clues. No new clues. And we still don't know who the culprit is. <laughs> what the effing waste! Why? Did she really develop all the photos? Maybe she got rid of the ones that show the culprit? Malfoy, what are you doing? Hmm. How rude! I developed all the villain that I was given! I swear by my my own money daddy that I did! You bastards! Those are the older villains from hidden cameras! So when I have to get to doosing! I guess she's telling the truth then. Don't screw around! These are seriously all the pictures?! You gotta be kidding me! The culprit's not in any of them! If the culprit didn't go to the library, the how different they kill Rintaro! Yeah, so this must be what they call a perfect crime. Huh? A perfect crime? I'm disappointed. Aw, oh, man. I've only been snugging out because I thought those photos would reveal the culprit. That's because you didn't do anything, you idiot. Uh, no. You should have been helping us investigate! By the way. Oh, by the way. What? Rento had this mother pad the whole time, didn't he? Do you think anything has what? Do you think anything was in it? What are you talking about? Are you talking about his student handbook? I do not agree. His student handbook did not contain much in the way of the potential information. Well, I thought it has anything to do with the case. He simply had his mother pad with him. Okay. I suspect his mother pad, but I didn't find anything suspicious about it. Oh man. oh man, so it's n got nothing to do with the case. How confusing. Are you okay? Kaede, are you okay? Uh, Why? Why aren't they in the picture? If the mastermind had these photos, it would have solved everything. So, why the heck? Uh, Kaede! Uh, Is this time? Is it finally time? Because this might be the biggest time we have. And of course, you might go with it. It's time for what you've all been waiting for. The class trial! Oh, something it was the Malkas again or something. But no, it's Malka. Come on, just do it like the usual thing. Please assemble in front of the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard. Shrine of Judgment? Remember that red door surrounded by plants? It's just on the other side. Oh, like right in front of the, the academy? From there, you'll be escorted to a delightful class trial! <laughs> See you all there! I guess the time has come then. It's been why I haven't gone to class trial. Huh? D time already? That is correct. You see, we had no choice but to continue this discussion at the class trial. <sighs> I don't want to go. What a me neither. What a pain. <laughs> what? You scared? An NPC like you had nothing to be scared of. NPCs? Who says you? Since you, you don't want to be freaked out already. No. It'll be fine. I just feel like my back is up against the wall. Yeah. We just need to expose the mastermind in this class trial. Yeah, that's right. I did everything, including this killing game, will come to an end. That's right. Yes, that's right. Got it. Let's find this mastermind. If it's a man, let's beat him to death. 
Jeez. Isn't beating them to death going a bit far? I hope we don't not. If I follow Malakuma's instruction, walk toward the courtyard. Am I just gonna magically just walk towards it? Or I just gotta wait here for him before Suichi speak? Suichi? Nothing I said? Are you okay? Kaede? Really? Are you okay? Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to worry you. I'm just so shocked. I really thought that everything would be resolved once we look at the photos. But I can't give up. I can expose. I can still expose the mastermind in this class trial. And then everything, even this killing game, will come to an end. Yeah. I'm okay now, sweetie. Right? Let's go. It's the red door in the courtyard, right? Okay, I just gotta like. I'll just gotta walk towards it immediately. Because I don't have much time left, so. Ah, oh, great. So I can't do this then? I can't do. Automatically, so it's just like Lee. It just gotta like let me like straight to it or something. No, I guess I have to do this. Can I do automatically now? Nah, I can't. I guess I have to go outside then. It's really strange. Anyway, here it is the Shrine of Judgment. I'm not sure why they call the Shrine of Judgment. It's this red door, right? Hey! Uh, Kaede, I have one more question. Really? I just sound like this? Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit? But the mastermind as well? Huh? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Suiji? Uh, okay. Y yes, but... It just... That was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Hmm. Well... I don't know if it's true, either. But that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, yeah. then you just turn your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Shuichi? You seem so sure of your son doing the investigation. Uh, sure. The way how Shuichi acts like this, it feels like he, he find out about something. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. We'll to find out what's going on in the class trial when Suichi about to speak. What he's thinking about. So this must be it then. And everyone's all here then. What? So, this is the Shrine of Judgment. Everyone. With the laggy ass in this place then. Careful, everyone. If bad things happen, get behind Gonta. Like be your shield. Back, right. Come on, get me. Why? Why were we? Oh my God, you are so effing annoying. So are we doing the class trial here or what? No. No. Malakuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Malakuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? So that's gonna happen. Sure of it. You're not gonna get rid of the Malakuma statue, is it? This Malakuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. Uh, miss something happening? I get the feeling really something's going to happen. Huh? What? What the? Okay, we're cutscenes. Um, okay. Did the statue just move on its own? Uh, okay, you just need me to pat then. The physics of this place are amazing. Huh? That was like totally beyond it. That was like something. Is this an elevator? This is. Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. I don't want to go get on it either. Stay behind them. Though I'm sure they'll just be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I'll cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end won't exist, escape not an option. Hey. 
It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise. We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterward. I'll get us out of here. So let's do it. I'm sure we'll be alright. Mm -hmm. Because we make such a great, incredible team. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. Bring it! I'll show them how I, Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, live! Yeah, sure, what do you say? <laughs> Don't you mean die? Dumbass. Don't say something all ominous like that! I'm ready! Nah! We, got so f we come so far away! We just gotta do it! So let's do it! Okay. We have no choice. We can't turn back now. Wow, it was really, really lucky there, wasn't it? Determined, we all step forward. Even as we walk toward the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. Going down? Yep. That's what it is, we're going down. Of course, we can't do anything with the. The elevator scene, cool. then. It's actually an elevator. <laughs> of course it is. It it was an elevator all along, but the design and looks of it is so pretty amazing. Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Can you you sound very so ominous. You sound sound very like I don't know. Um, it's almost like you see even the dead or something. You shouldn't go there before we head inside. By all means, go ahead. What? Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. That's rude. As we wait to reach our destination, I whisper to Shuichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. What? What talk? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening. I don't like what Kaede was thinking, like something's gonna happen. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping. And let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. Alright, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Man, the way how it sounds like what Kaede's voice said to you, it still almost sounds like on oh, the personified. I was like. Oh god. Why is it VS like it's like it's all connective to something? Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me, so I would not turn back. After some time, the air finally came to a halt. But when we want to see. The door slowly opened to fear what await us on the other side. Whoa, that's a one huge class trial there. Welcome to the class trial! Yay! Oh boy! The class trial is finally starting! Finally! A game that actually feels like a game! Because we are in a game, Monotaro! Bingo! Just as the pros proper scene foretold! Got it? Listen up! For here on, things are gonna get so violent you wish you could turn back. No way! But that's not true! There won't be any glory of violent scene. I'm positive. This is this a nosically replica of a courtroom. Hmm. Hmm. What bad taste. Oh, Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Ah, oh, there's my Kuma. I mean, I mean, we can't do it without a the drone there. Of course. Putting strangers in life or death scenario is the Entertainment. You're the worst of the worst. Yes, yes, the worst. 
<laughs> West or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. It doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you, as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Wow, it's so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So, what do we get this game going? Well, now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Why well, it feels like someone getting angry if he's like me? Like, don't give me the wrong idea or something. Following Monokuma's instruction, we get to a Respect the podiums. Oh god, this is like a new. It's like the world's order thing, wasn't it? Um, is it called old world order or something like that? Um, but this one is kind of like the craziest that's gonna happen. Like, like something's plot twist is gonna happen, so. As I walk toward my podium, an image of his body flashes in my mind. Rentaro. He died without knowing his own ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by some terrible, low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive this killer. That's why we're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for the tower now. His killer is in this room with us. The mastermind who is controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is, so we can lift our suspicious of each other. This got started rally up. So we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight to the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. And that's we're going to leave it for now. But dang, I don't have a long investigation we're gonna have, am I? <laughs> but anyway, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Which I hope we get to like the student handbook thing, something. Of course we have. So, oh my god, this is looks slightly different. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here for now. But I hope that next week we have an like, interesting class time we're gonna have, and maybe curious on like what new stuff's gonna have or like. Um, any like new, uh, new thing like discussion things or like, uh, wait this make things more interesting, something like that. But anyway, um, I look forward to seeing what this class trial. I haven't been done this for a very long time since. I mean, barely as much. And of course, we got the skills as well. What, what can we use the skills like thing? Oh, I can buy things. Uh, I see. But I'll do that later. I'll do that later for the next one. I'm not gonna know much time left, but I'm gonna leave it for now and hopefully. I'm not sure what kind of thing we're gonna store for us exactly, or we're gonna have to find out. But I get the feeling that Kaede is gonna have a strange feeling like, if the truth's gonna happen, then this will not be that good. But, anyways, that pretty much a Dango Map by V3 Killing Harmony. If this video, hit that button too. Like them up! If you wanna see your videos, you go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Later!